There it is. Town of Davenport. The furthest this boat has ever gone in one day. A little choppier than we hoped. Just slow putting to the reef. How do you feel after the ride, Veronica? It, it hurts. <laughs> beautiful. Uh, kind of wish there was at least one other boat here though. That would be nice. No, 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 no. All right. We're the only crazy people, huh? All right. High, low, bait up, drop down. Okay, so I'm going to put squid strip on the top hook. And these are uh, four uh, octopus circle hooks that I'm using. And then I've never done this before. On the lower hook, I'm going to put a whole massive tray bait squid. And hopefully that'll get the link cod. So the idea is rockfish on top, link cod on bottom. Let's see how that works. Thought I felt a few bites too. I think I got something on. Yeah, it worked. The uh, the black one hit the. Ow, you fuck! Oh my goodness. He spiked me. I think he's a little small though. I'll put them in the live well. All right, so let me set this up for the descender, huh? So I lost my last one. So this is my descender device that I made yesterday. So you got an eyelet to put the clip on, a little uh, Oops, shank hook thing that goes downwards, and then I put a clip on the bottom that I attached a, a 16 ounce lead to. And it makes it easier if you use half a pole, this pole is a, a one piece, so I can't take it apart. And that way you can get a better grip on the fish when you release them. All right, because they slide off kind of easy, which they should, because you want to release them. This is the idea. Get off real easy. All right, into free spool. And he's going down. I got a 16 ounce lead, so it's going straight down. All right, so one third to one half the depth that you retrieved them from. So I'm just gonna pull up like that and he should be free. The only thing about this is it takes time out of your fishing, but uh, it'll keep the rockfish numbers up and that's what we want. We don't need any more regulations, that's for sure. Not 
fighting like it's going on. There's no fight. Maybe you can touch this bit if it's not on. No. Nope. Feels good. Feels good to me. Oh, if it's a little lang. Probably another canary. Yeah, it's a decent gopher. Might as well start making uh starting our limit count. I gotta get the voice command on my GoPro every time I stop. Oh, no, it's just a little guy. It's still there. Oh, you're not too little. Might as well. It's a slow day. Work our way to limits. Oh, look, he's got a little crab in his mouth. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it looks like a little baby Dungeness crab. See? Well, we've been working the spot for about two hours now. I had high hopes with uh, the first time we went just a few days ago. We got 16 fish in a couple hours. However, today we only got two. And it's approaching high tide, which means the current is gonna be uh, next to nothing. That usually slows the fish down. I think we're gonna try here a little bit longer and uh, maybe head back up the coast. Oh, oh I think I got something. Oh, all right. Where am I freaking snagged again? I don't know, can you bring something up? Yeah, you can see how it's not bringing it back. I don't know, that looks a lot like a snag still. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna try to uh, work the sandy area just in front of us. And uh, we'll see if I can't get some sand dabs for lingcod bait. And she's fishing an anchovy, so there's a chance we could get a halibut too. Let's see what happens. Alright, so we're rock fishing. We have two rockfish in the boat. She just saw some jack smelt come to the surface. So I'm gonna try to get those. So you're limited to two hooks once you got rockfish in the boat. So I just took a, a sabiki that had four feathers and hooks on it, and I just cut two of them off. All right, first time at Davenport. Bite is a little bit slow. We're gonna head back up the coast, try red, white, and blue beach. Maybe pick up some more bait. Maybe drift around for a halibut. Wish us luck. All right, we just got to red, white, and blue. Took us about a half hour to get here, which isn't too bad considering it took us 45 minutes on the way up. And this is about the halfway point. All right, so I'm switching out for halibut. Live bait rig. Got the small size two hook. Put a, a dead anchovy on. 
Maybe they'll get us some sand dabs for wing cod too. Hopefully it's a sand dab. Nope. All right, 12.30. Nothing has happened at all. Still got two rockfish in the boat. Still forced to fish with one pole and two hooks. I got a two hook sabiki. We're gonna go a little bit closer to the sand. We're still here at Red, White, and Blue Beach. I'm gonna try to drum up some bait and then we're gonna head uh, towards the harbor to some link cod spot. but um, throw it in the pile. Maybe got some good shots. I don't know. Awfully windy. Awfully windy. I was going reverse with the trolling motor on full speed just to keep us on bottom. All right. <laughs> 